Hello you Pixel people, I am Pixel and welcome to a video about a little predicament I am in right now. Basically the new year has just come in and I've actually released three videos in three days which is quite decent for me. I mean I did fall off the map quite a bit um, over the last year or two and I really wanted to get everything back up to scratch and start going at it really regularly uh, from the new year. The problem was I didn't really have a plan formulated and that leaves us where we are today. Basically, I wanted to get a video out today. I tried to write down a few ideas. I I realized that it was all going to take far too long and I wasn't going to be able to get the video done by the time this video is out. And it made me start thinking, basically, I need to come up with a format of a video which is kind of timeless and is going to allow me to put out regular videos that you guys want to watch. This is the most important thing, right? I mean, anyone can put out countless Let's Plays like I did do in the past and literally put two episodes up a day and it's all well and truly easy. Like, I just record save the parts and put it up. So I don't really want to go down that route again because I feel like I kind of ostracized many of you and I feel like I don't make a personal connection to as many of you as I could do if I did something which had a little bit more interaction or something based on something more than the game that I am playing at that moment in time. So for that reason, I have decided that I am going to try a few things in the very near future and one of them is something that needs an awful lot of work. However, it should allow me to get out fairly frequent content about stuff which is going to be interesting to you guys. And I'll be honest, I'm not going to pull any punches, I'm not going to lie about it, I'm going to be completely straight down the line. It is basically the same kind of content that Total Biscuit used to do a good few years ago called The Mailbox. I don't know what I would call mine, um, because obviously I, I think that Total Biscuits at that really big size now where somebody out there is going to have a major issue of it, just call my program The Mailbox and basically do the same kind of stuff that he did in his show called The Mail Mailbox. So uh, I'm not 100% certain how this is going to work, but this is one thing that I want to try. It's not the only thing. It's just uh, one thing that came out of my mind recently, and I was thinking, yeah, uh, not bad. Could work. So for that reason, I have actually set up a email address, which is mailbox at pixeltwitch.tv. I will leave um, it's in the description. It should be up on the screen now and I want you guys out there If you've got any questions that you want to ask me related to any game or gaming in general or Anything to do with the industry esports whatever then please feel free to Send me an email with your question and I will hopefully be able to get around to answering it Obviously, I won't be able to answer all of the questions if we get a, a metric shed ton, right if we just get a few at the start, then there's a good chance that you're going to get your question answered. Now, I do want to put a little bit of a caveat here. I do not want questions relating to me directly. I mean, that's the kind of stuff for Q&As. I have got plans to start doing Q&As relatively soon, which will probably be like once a month where I'll answer like three or four questions that you guys have asked about me, my life, what I use, what I enjoy playing and stuff like that. But anything else um, is completely open. You can ask away what you like. Um, apart from that, I'm also going to be doing a quick tip series on Dirty Bomb. I've spoken about this quite a lot. I have actually got the intro done so far. I'm working on the outro as we speak. Well, not right now, but, you know, um, when I get a little bit of time here and there. So that's going to be uh, releasing quite soon. And that's basic basically going to be two to three minute videos about a specific tip or trick in Dirty Bomb. For instance, I think... One of the first ones, I was originally, the reason why it took me so long to get into this was I was originally going to try and do them in order of, like, from beginner to expert. The problem is, I think that kind of cuts out a lot of the excitement with it, and also it means that the initial episodes are going to be some of the most boring episodes that a lot of you will be thinking, well, that's not a tip, everybody knows that. Truth is, not everybody does know that, but I completely understand where you're coming from. A, a lot more people will know that than some of the other things that we could actually do in a video series like this. So I, I think like the first one that I do may be something to do with the ammo station on Kira. Like a, a very simple tips and tricks episode which a lot of people don't think about and where you could actually learn and get a little bit of extra use out of the ammo station for instance. So yeah, I, I'm thinking that's definitely going to be a thing. I also want to bring back the first boot series which is going to be a fairly regular 
um, set of videos just on new games, a lot of indie games, obviously, because that's the vast majority of what gets released on Steam these days. And uh, obviously the AAA games when they come out. However, I may, I may, I'm not guaranteeing this, but I may go into full last reviews on the AAA games because I did that once with a Call of Duty game. I think it was Call of Duty Ghosts. And the video did surprisingly well, and uh, a lot of people really did like that, and it did take me quite a long time to actually get all the footage and write out the scripts and everything like that, where the uh, the first boot series is basically just sitting down in front of a game for the first time and giving you guys my first impressions, which seems to work out okay. I'm not saying it's the most high quality content, but let's be honest, um, this it sounds awful when you say it like this, because it I, I don't want to group everybody into the same kind of... Uh, category here but a lot of people out there that watch a lot of youtubers and um, do prefer to just listen to that youtuber while they're doing something else so it doesn't always have to be the uh, top-notch perfectly edited content a lot of it has to be uh, based around what you can get out and just keeping people entertained that's that's basically what this is all about right entertaining or being informative or something else and fingers crossed I can help uh, you guys with a little bit of uh, entertaining content at least. When it comes to the Let's Plays and stuff, I am definitely still interested in that. I did mention in a previous video that I have got a few concerns with doing constant Let's Plays on Half-Life content. I kind of... I I'm going to be honest with you guys here. I was really, really, really happy with all the Half-Life content for so long. It was doing really well. And there was points in time when I was doing like a Half-Life 2 Let's Play or the episodes where I was getting like 15,000 views a day, which is, it, it baffles my mind. It's it's amazing. And it, it wasn't the fact that I was getting so many views on that. What I was realizing, which was the off-putting part, was that if I was releasing like a first boost episode during the time that the Half-Life episode would have gone up, I would have noticed like 10,000 uh, views on the Half-Life video within the first week. And then I look at the first boot at 350 and that's kind of a bit of a punch in the chest because I completely understand it because I haven't gone out there and actually tried to like basically sell myself to you guys, if you know what I mean. I haven't really gone out there and actually promoted myself for myself. Like with the Half-Life stuff, a lot of people obviously enjoyed my videos on Half-Life, which I'm obviously eternally grateful for. But uh, it, they was interested in the game and they came here for the game and they stayed here for the game which is cool and I could have decided to just go full on Half-Life channel from now to the rest of eternity however that's not exactly what I wanted I wanted to be able to well the main reason why I started this YouTube channel let's just go here right the main reason why I started this YouTube channel was because I had a lot of opinions on many different topics in gaming I was getting quite frustrated at the time with a lot of the games that were coming out with a lot of problems and I started doing videos on that kind of stuff however the downside of doing that was that because I was mainly pointing out problems the channel ended up being fairly negative in general so every, it would always be about hate on the game and stuff like that and that was never my intention but whenever I was really nice about a game or anything like that everybody just well honestly just wasn't that interested so I got myself in a little bit of a bad cycle there so so many bad cycles the half-life stuff absolutely loved it but uh kind of bred one kind of subscriber on the channel the reviews which were negative and everything people seemed to love and I actually enjoyed doing those videos because I felt like I was being honest I wasn't exaggerating anything for the reaction or anything it was literally how I felt about a game however when I did do a game that I liked it wasn't nearly liked as much so I just didn't do that and it just made the channel feel more and more negative so I, I kind of really want to avoid doing that again in the future so I'm just hopefully um, with a new year on the way going to really make a massive show of this in 2016 i think this is going to be my year where we can actually do something with this channel hopefully all have a lot of fun in the process and it will all work out fingers crossed and uh, I, I really hope that's what happens so like i mentioned earlier on in the video guys i am going to be doing a mailbox style series i'm saying mailbox style because like i said earlier i i don't know if i'm going to get away with calling it a mailbox that's basically what it is but I might have called it something like Got Mail or something like that. I, I have no idea yet. Maybe you can actually email me or leave a comment with a suggestion for a name for that because that would be a great help indeed. So, yes, mailbox at pixeltwitch.tv. You should find a link in the description below this video. Please do leave me a comment with any feedback whatsoever, even if it's negative, telling me that you don't like some of the stuff that I've done in the past or that you do like certain videos more than others or you think that I'm wasting my time. Just tell me exactly how you guys feel i won't take it personally i just really want to know i really want to be able to improve this channel 
and uh, make it good for everybody out there. Obviously, I've been speaking now for nearly 10 minutes non-stop, and this is quite impressive for me without a, without a script. I haven't done this for a very long time. A lot of the uh, Dirty Bomb stuff I do like to script out first. So, yeah, I, I apologize if the video rambles a little bit. But anyway, guys, if you are new to the channel, I don't know why you would be watching this video, but if you are, don't forget to slap that subscribe button for some more PC gaming goodness. If you like this video or you like where this channel is going to be heading in 2016, be sure to slap that like button. It really does help me out a lot. And as always, guys, thank you for getting to the end of the video. Um, you're all stars, you're all legends, and I really do hope to hear from you, from you with some feedback on the channel and where we're going to go in future. If you've got a question for the mailbox series, do email mailbox at pixeltwitch.tv and I will hopefully get the first episode of that out. As soon as I've got enough questions to do it, I don't care what the questions are, providing that they are the right kind of topic and they are to do with the gaming thing, I will do them because I really want to see this kind of show succeed. Bear in mind, you can include Dirty Bomb questions. However, it's open to all games. I'm guessing that the first few episodes will more than likely be Dirty Bomb related, but uh, yeah. It's open for everybody and open for every topic apart from about myself because there will be a QA and a in the very near future. So with all that said, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you very, very soon. Until next time, bye-bye.